Now, if you were driving by a gas station this week and thought, well, it can't get much worse, I'm sorry to say yes, it can, and likely it will. You see, the incompetence of Joe Biden and his clown parade of an inept socialist can take us far deeper into the hole they've been digging. I'll be getting into that in just a moment. But first, let's review, shall we? Some of the things they've been able to accomplish in just the first 16 months of being in control in Washington. As I mentioned, and you already know, gas and diesel prices have been setting record high prices for days and now weeks on end. The latest national average edging up towards $6 a gallon for gas. And several major banks in AAA are predicting that the states, all of the states, will pass that milestone by August. That's right, $6 a gallon for gas in every state, 7 for diesel. Of course, California and others will be higher. Diesel, by the way, already running short. And guess what? The Biden administration and its energy secretary... Jennifer Granholm have absolutely no answer about what to do about any of this. Here's what Granholm is telling the American people about our spiking gas prices. Listen. Is it fair to say perhaps $5, $6? I think they're going to definitely remain above $4 per, per gallon, and you're going into the driving season in summer, which uh, historically obviously also creates that upward pressure on prices. Then remember... This isn't the only problem the administration has no answer for. They could start lowering prices at the pump tomorrow, but clearly they don't want to. But again, I'll get to more of that coming up in a minute. Of course, we have the ongoing baby formula crisis that Joe Biden said would have taken a mind reader to catch in time, even though his own team was warned about it back in September of last year. And the Health and Human Services Secretary said they've been on top of it since that day, from day one. 